This just in the Colorado Department of Corrections is saying prison gangs are creating a clear and present danger to corrections officers. Now, we've been hearing a lot about prison gangs since the murder of Colorado Corrections Chief Tom Clements, allegedly at the hands of a parolee in the 211 crew prison gang. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon was at that briefing that just ended a little while ago. Lindsay, the DOC, the Department of Corrections, wouldn't talk about ways to stop these gangs. And Bertha, we asked specifically about 211, and they would not take any questions about the 211 gang. We also asked about, we're hearing a lot of discussion of gang members communicating within prison walls and outside prison walls. Again, Department of Correction officials saying that they will not answer those questions, that it will compromise security. Now, we did hear from two women, and their goal, sole purpose in the Department of Corrections is to really focus on the intelligence of gang members and gangs. Now, the Department of Corrections does not call these guys gangs. They call them security threat groups. And the main idea they wanted us to take away from this press conference that we just had was that there's a lot of myths that maybe gang members are uneducated people, and that is not the fact at all. In fact, they said they are very educated and organized groups. I want to point to one thing they gave us. These are an example of bylaws that were confiscated in prison. Down here, it, well, first it lists kind of what you have to do or cannot do to be a member of the gang. And then down here it goes on, and I'm quoting this, we believe in the teachings of honorable chairman. All laws and policies are set forth by our chairman and our executive staff, and it goes on and on. Again, these are rules and policies the gang members have to follow by. The other thing they showed us that I thought was fairly interesting was the artwork that identifies a lot of these gangs. Here's one that's pretty interesting. It looks like lips on the side of a cheek. Actually, if you turn Turn that around. It's the number 13. So again, just showing the complexity of these groups. This is a whole packet kind of outlining, again, these gangs that they have or the security threat level groups is what the DOC refers to them as. Now, the DOC tells us they take a zero tolerance policy when it comes to criminal activity. But as far as actually having gangs in prison walls, as long as they're abiding by the rules, they are allowed. We also asked, and keep in mind, the two women that talked, their sole purpose is intelligence. We asked them how often they think their work prevents any kind of destructive gang behavior, whether inside prison walls or outside. They could not give us a number, but they did say they have stopped several threats in the past. Reporting live in Denver, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.